I have with me a young yoga wizard, Prisha Karthik, a 12-year-old girl from Tunnelveli district of Tamil Nadu. And already she has set several records, around 70 records, including world records, recognized by the Asia Book of World Records and uh, the Elite Book of Records. Prisha, thank you very much for your time. Congratulations. How does it feel to be setting so many records at a very young age? I'm very proud and I'm very happy to set this many world records. Still, I want to set many world records. Which one is the most difficult record for you of all that you have done so far? All are very easy records for me. Mm -hmm. And how did this begin actually? How did you develop interest? When I was small in house, my grandmother and my mother will do yoga. Mm -hmm. Seeing them, I started doing small, small asanas. And in five years, I started going to state, district, international, national part competitions. And I won more than 200 gold medals. And you also train visually challenged school children in yoga. Do you think that's important? Yes, after I train now, they have got the confidence that they can also do world records. Okay. And what kind of joy you get when you train differently able children? You feel happy? Yes, I feel very happy. And it doesn't affect your studies. You spend, you seem to spend so much of time on yoga and uh, participating in competitions. No, morning uh, I'll go to school and I'll do my homework, everything and I'll go to school. And evening I'll do all my practice. I'll go to blind school and take yoga class. Okay. And uh, what's your career plans, your future, your, your, your plans for the future? I want to become a doctor and become a collector. Does yoga help for that? Yes, I like. I wanted to do, by yoga, I wanted to do many social service for the others. Right. And I understand a university also, also honored you with an honorary doctorate, is it? In nine years, I got honorary doctorate from New Jerusalem University. Mm -hmm. so do people call you as Dr. Prisha? Yes. <laughs> Let's also speak to her mother, Devi Priya. Uh, you must be a proud parent. Yeah, I'm really honored to have a blessed child and divine child like her. And you're, you're her guru, is it? Yes, sir. From one year, I have started teaching her all the extracurricular activities and uh, all all the world records. I, I have been training her, training her from one year. Right. Yeah. And many would also say that a little child is being pressured by parents to set new records. How would you respond to that? Actually, my thing is, I would like to pursue her in the field in which she is particularly interested. I, we never force her to do anything. In which field she is interested, we encourage her and give her practice. Uh, the thing is, uh, we shouldn't compare one children with the other. That's my main thing. I never compare her or uh, in which field she says she wants to do world record or she wants to excel, I give her practice by myself. So it's easy and she enjoys whatever her specialties, she enjoys whatever she does. She'll be a happy child always, 24 hours she'll be laughing and due to meditation and yoga, she feels so good when she does world record. So we encourage her particularly to do world record when she feels best in that. Right, right. And uh, how did this uh, training differently able children begin? How did she? Actually, I used to take yoga classes in AIDS home. For past uh, two, three years, I was taking yoga class in the AIDS home. Mm -hmm. she, I used to take her with me. She used to say, oh, why don't we go to blind school also and right, train? Right, she right. gave me an idea because uh, yoga improves the eyesight of person. We have personally experienced that. Many people are coming over here from different parts of the uh, places and they get training from her. So right. we feel so happy and satisfied. This is the most satisfaction. Right, uh, right. Even the world record, setting world record doesn't give this much happiness. When someone gets benefited out of what we teach, it gives more immense right, pleasure right, than right. anything in the world. Do you have time to enjoy like other children, say games or watching movies or playing with your friends? No, I never watch TV. Mm -hmm. I I have time to play. After I'll finish all my works first and evening I'll play. 
Okay. Tell me honestly, do your parents force you? No. <laughs> right, right. Thank you so much for your time and uh, perhaps many would call her as a poster girl for yoga in Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Find the TV.